Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bill Malley, the media coordinator for McMaster Athletics. I'd like to welcome you all on campus today for a very special announcement. Along with being big news, it also seemed to be the worst kept secret in town. But that just goes to show how much interest there is in Marauder football and how big an impact that program has in our community. So we'll get things started right away. So I'd like to call on the Associate Director of Athletics and Recreation, Mark Alfano, to make some opening remarks and introduce our special guest of honor. Thanks, Bill. It is great to see such a large turnout today for today's announcement. I believe that is a clear indication of how the McMaster and Hamilton community feel about the individual that we are about to welcome back to campus. I would like to welcome and thank a few special guests for taking the time to be here today. Dr. Ron Foxcroft, Dr. Ed Minich, thank you for coming. Eleanor and Neil Gow. John Van Coonard, our Associate Vice President and Dean of Students. Karen McQuaid, our Director of Alumni Advancement. Heck Creighton Award winner Ben Chapdelaine, and a number of supporters from across campus. And to our Marauder football student athletes, recruits, and staff, thank you all for joining us today. I must thank Coach Brady, Coach Blacksman, and Coach Parks for all they have done in their dedication and support to continue to move Marauder football forward through this transition period. Coaches, thank you very much. Began our head coach search earlier this month, we set up to find the best coach available, and Stefan was at the top of that list. For 10 years, Steph controlled our sideline, leading our football program to three Yates Cups, three trips to the Vanier, and of course, to victory in the greatest football game ever played, the 2011 Vanier Cup. But he is more than wins and losses. He believes in cultivating the complete student athlete. He's a supporter of all things McMaster, and although he spent a couple years wearing black and gold and blue and gold, we know he truly does believe Maroon. I know Steph will be a leader on campus and in the Hamilton community, and that he will, he will enrich the student athlete experience, and not just for football athletes, for all of our athletes. Quick story, Steph was speaking to our homecoming uh, festival back in 2015, and we'd asked Steph to talk about the upcoming football game to the crowd that had gathered. Steph made sure to recognize every Marauder team that was playing that weekend, not just the football program, including referring to our women's rugby program as the hardest working program on campus. Later that year, our women's rugby team did win the national championship, so proving Steph right that they probably were the hardest working team on this campus at that time. But that is who Steph is. I believe our core values of integrity, innovation, accountability, collaboration, inclusivity, and of course, passion are personified by Coach Tassik. I believe the future of Marauder football is in good hands. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the next head coach of Marauder football, Stefan Pizzo. John, Tom, 
Scott, uh, your dedication to the only thing that matters, which is the student athletes in that room, uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, and thank you so much for getting us through this transition. It means a ton. It means a ton. Uh, I decided to stop talking about working and <laughs> start working. And there are some talented student athletes on this campus that are seeing if this place feels like home. And if it's not going to feel like home today, but, but take a look around and, and get a sense that this is a football program that's in the perfect athletic department, on the perfect campus, in the perfect community. Um, and all they care about is you reaching your full potential in all sense of, of the work. And so it's a wonderful place to be. Uh, you have, one of the proudest things I have is the 10 years I spent here, I believe I worked as hard on my last day as I did on my first. Uh, and that's what I intend to do again now. Um, in this profession, I, 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 Mr. Ron Foxcroft had said, uh, he's with me 100% winter tie. <laughs> in this profession, I think the only options are win or learn. Win or learn. And these last couple of years, I've done a lot of learning. A lot of learning. Uh, we are uh, excited to roll up our sleeves and do some more waiting. But we thought that was a mistake with the volleyball. So then you turn around, you got another team that you're not going to coach. Well, can you just what is, how is it for you? I, I mean, the, the strength of this department is uh, uh, the human beings in every corner and every office of the hall are not all about wins and losses. And it's about the community. And, and uh, Coach Preston is, is dedicated and committed to winning. And uh, he sees the bigger picture. Uh, there's gentlemen and ladies like him all over this athletic department. Privilege to be back and uh, 